Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Foreign and welcome back to 2v Tuesdays. This is part two of a two-part series. Um, the first part is over on Geraldus' channel. There will be an annotation on the screen right now. If you're watching this, go watch his first, watch the whole thing, and then watch the whole thing of mine. That's what you guys need to do. That's what you guys should do every single week. Anyways, uh, we're just going to jump into it. This is a continuation directly from what was said at the end of the previous video. Enjoy. Yeah, um, he could. You could consider it in his realm, or you can say that anything can be done on the internet. Um, I guess there's there's both ways that that can really go. One, he. One of the main points that Raw Instinct gets at is that he's a man of he's a man of honor and integrity, but yet he is technically selling his body on the internet, um, which is a very valid point. When it comes to why he is disgusted by this, you know what I mean? Yeah, and and I, I understand. Like he said, he mentions in the video that uh, oh, he's supposed to be a man of morals, but morals can swing any way. Um, there's people who have very very strong morals towards being pro-choice. Someone should be allowed to do with their body what they please. Tons of people are that way. Um, so if if he wants to go on the internet and masturbate, it's his it's his body. He can do what he wants. And a lot of people also point out. He's got a wife. Maybe his wife does the same thing. Maybe on occasion they go in there and they have sex on the internet. Uh, anybody ever think of that? Maybe that's what she wants him to do. Maybe she says, hey, it really turns me on when I can read all these comments in your chat of you masturbating. Maybe. I. You know what? It's very possible. Um, people can still have open relationships even in a more um, conservative household, which... I'm not saying that he is a conservative, but typically people that are in the military are a little more to themselves. Yeah. I guess you could say they're a little more um, by the book, but not everyone is that way. And that is a very good, valid point. You know, there are open relationships like that that exist. Um, but back back to the whole topic of, uh, of uh, Raw Instinct. We kind of got on a little tangent there talking about... Dude's masturbating on the internet. <laughs> yeah, that's a big point in his video that he made, though. It is. It is. Um, so another thing that I wanted to bring up, uh, he, he discusses the fact that he just vanished and his reasoning to why. And correct me if I'm wrong, which I don't even know if you can correct me. I'm not sure if you even know, know this information, but I'm almost positive that Raw Instinct is only 18 years old or 19. Uh, well, he's in college, so he's probably at least 18. So, I'm a, well, I'm under the impression that he, he states in the video that he's now going to college. This is his first time going off to college. That that means that he just graduated high school. So yeah. that's just the impression that I'm under. Um, and to, to basically get a huge backlash from what he said, you know, thousands of people tweeting him how terrible he is, how horrible it is, all the comments that flooded his videos, all the dislikes that came from the heavens. <laughs> um, I can understand him just backing down. If I were to have multiple videos just instantly just downrated, 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 and just hate comments like crazy, I think I would just walk away for a while. Oh, yeah, man, that shit, that shit can break you quick. Um... The comments in particular, and the like he mentions thousands of tweets he was getting. He was getting thousands of tweets, just hating on him. And do I? Uh, I don't blame the guy at all for you know taking a step back, reevaluating the situation for six months, and seeing how he wanted to make his re-entry back into the scene. Um, do I think that maybe he should have came out with some sort of a video saying that he was going to be gone for a while and what he was leaving for? Uh, yes, I think he should have. Yeah, but then that's. I think that him not making a video and leaving um, is a way to stop the haters. Because if he would have made a video, it would have instantly been hated. Yeah, yeah. Turn comments off. Turn ratings off. Say, listen, I'm not yeah, gonna be making. YouTube, I'm not gonna be making YouTube videos for a while. I'll see you guys later. Um, maybe I'll be back. Maybe I won't. Deuces. Just leave. It's better than just the cliffhanger. Because to be, he had a lot of subscribers, and he still had a lot of subscribers that were still very, very loyal to him that uh, he really just l let hang out to dry. Yeah, that is true. Um, but to, to kind of finish up on this uh, whole topic, um, it turns out that, you know, his time away has been a good thing. And it's 
like you said, it was a good thing that he waited the six months to actually come back. Um, because I think that if he would have come back instantly, it would have been a backlash on everyone. But with him coming back so late, it was more graceful. And overall, I would say that um, his channel is going to it's going to thrive now. I, I think that he will actually blow back up. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So that's my final thought. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, you are now on my channel if you're finishing up this commentary. And I uh, just want to thank you guys for, for giving us a listen. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you guys next week. Bye. Who says?